maybe it's better, you know, to wait until the child's a little bit older instead of putting an infant in daycare. But it's been shown that, I mean, no matter how long children have been in daycare, there are, um, they're more likely to have problem behavior in kindergarten and further along in grammar school, such as getting into fights, arguing, or becoming disobedient. So it doesn't really seem to matter how, you know, what age they were when they were put in daycare. It just leads, to, uh, it's been shown to lead to behavior problems. And also with that, it's like, they seem to be cleaning just the child care. It's just not just the child daycare center, you know what I mean? Because it also reflects on your parents. Like, if you say you were sent to daycare, yeah, you're going to learn some things there, but at the same time, when you go home, like, the parent also has to teach you, you know, this and that, and just that, what you learn at daycare. I agree with that to some extent, because um, if they're there, like, from 7.30 in the, or 7 o'clock in the morning to 5.30 at night, every single day, and they're spending a majority of their time in daycare. So, I mean, I, like I said, I agree with that to an extent, but I also believe that daycare, if you're there that long, it's going to have some sort of influence on you to the point where you're, you I mean, you're going to kind of have like, you know, it's almost like kids going, being in a divorce and going to two different homes and being, you know, let do one thing at one place and then have being reprimanded at the other place for doing, you know, something wrong. So I guess you just have to look at it, you know, like two, two different points of view, I guess you could say. But I do agree with that to some extent. There's not going to be any consistency in their, like, discipline-wise tell them one thing and then they go to a daycare center and they get away with completely different things and when are parents going to be able to reprimand their child when it's like at school you can go do this but at home they don't want them to at daycare they can do certain things at home they don't want them to that's why you have to choose a daycare though that like coincides with your views on parenting and raising and holding of your child you well, how many of them are you going to find there's tons of there's, centers out yeah, there i mean it's not like there's just one parents. daycare setting all centers have a different philosophy, all centers have a different view, and you just gotta find one that works to your benefit. If you do your research, it's not gonna be that hard to find a center. Well, I mean, even in a good setting, you know, a higher qualified daycare, I mean, what are the chances that a teacher is gonna catch every little thing that a kid does? You know, They're I mean, not, but do parents catch every little thing the child does? No. Well, there's more of a chance when if a mom and her kid are at home, usually the mom has the child in sight. You know, the child will be playing on the floor while she's watching TV or something. But you know, there's going to be times at a daycare more often where the workers are going to have to turn their back to attend to another child where things can be going on behind their back that they're not aware of. Well, that's true, but there's also more than one person there. There's at least three or four. I mean, there's always a ratio. So with a parent, there's only one person there. They can do so much. Um, <clears throat> actually, I didn't include this in our presentation. But this is, um, she found it from daycare, daycarestontcare.com um, or dot .org. And um, it just gave like a brief summary um, about a child being there from 7 in the morning till 5.30 at night. And that's eight hours typically. And like four hours, they give basically just a brief summary, like four hours to feed the babies. That's four times three feedings times 20 minutes. Because you figure, you have to feed them almost every 20 minutes when they're young. And so that's four times a day, and that's equals 20 minutes. So that's two hours, and or you get two hours and 40 minutes to change them. And then you have just like 40 minutes of sanitizing, like making sure that you're cleaning up everything after you're done changing that one kid, so that's all clean for the next person, the next kid, child that you're going to change. And um, but I guess it's more so like also dealing with like how cleanliness, and I guess you know you would have to research that too. But you also you're you're comparing time to spend with babies and like, I guess you could say middle-aged children, toddlers. Like there's well, it's just not all about, kinds of, there's an yeah. infant room and a toddler, they're not together. Oh, I didn't say that, I was just giving, I mean, for toddlers, it's, it's not as much, but it's, you know, typically eight to 15 young, um, you know, toddlers per adult. You know, this is inadequate, inadequate care. I mean, I mean, a daycare responsible for 10 toddlers would you know face with an overturn every 35 seconds like dealing with each per dealing with each kid if you have 15 kids to deal with i mean how fast and toddlers switch what they want to do i mean they're like that ratio seems pretty high yeah. and then usually the ratios are a lot smaller usually it's like oh seven or eight kids per adult it's not like usually 15. i don't know it personally seems high i don't have like facts in front of me but it just says that's like a typical it's a typically eight to 15 per adult average probably maybe they're 
having so a lower end one. Um, but I just, I don't know. I guess it also comes down to that cleansiness, time. I mean, how do you know how crowded it is? I mean, like, unless you study research. I mean, basically, I just think it's, I would personally just stay home if I had the, if I had the ability to. And a lot of parents are allowed to come in and observe their children. They can, like, a lot of daycares have open policy. Like, parents are allowed to come in whenever they want. Yeah, but how do you know when a parent's going to show up? And how do you know when the daycare person's going to be doing what they're supposed to do? That's why they can I mean, when they can go there to see if they're I'm just saying, like, the care you know, me. they, yeah, they'll come in and they'll come in whenever they want, but I'm saying, like, what if, you know, even though they have the open policy, how do you know if they're always going to be, like, doing, I mean, how do you know what's right? I mean, you could tell, but how do you know what's right? And like, starts with, like, another issue, too, like, go back and forth, but um, there are some days here, I think they started in California, they've had this for about three years now, um, where they installed webcams in the actual nurseries. And you can actually, like, only the parents have access to how to, like, and they can watch, if they're working, they can actually watch their child and making sure that they have paid attention to their kid and they're doing their job, you know what I mean? And they're trying to extend that to, like, more, I mean, yeah, there are concerns, you know, with hacking and all that going on nowadays, but at the same time, like, you're also, like, yeah, you might not be there there, but you can obviously keep an eye on your child. But you would have to check in the front and then they would page the room to make sure everyone is doing what they're supposed to be. So they get a fair warning. And there was another lady there who would always fall asleep when handling babies, and the baby rolled off her lap when she fell asleep. Daycares knew this, the parents knew it, and they still refused to fire her. I mean, because they couldn't find any other help. I mean, a lot of daycare gets fair warning when a parent comes in. I don't know. I was in daycare when I was in I was too. I mean, I was in a house. I was in a licensed daycare place. I mean, I don't really like remember a lot about it, you know. But I mean, I never had a problem with it. But yeah, I didn't either. I guess, yeah, <laughs> there's always news from like new statistics. From when we were younger, have improved a lot. So I mean, if we went to the daycare system when they not that they were bad, but they've improved a lot, and we turned out okay. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Any questions?